Wow, look, those small bubbles. Megan just made is a big circle. Hello. <laughs> all right, now what? Well, you just stick it all the Wow, that is a small bubble. <laughs> this is the color yellow and green. <laughs> this and blue. Wow, that is so cool. I love colors. Did you also notice that when we were making bubbles earlier, you can see all types of colors in the bubble. Oh yeah, I see it. It kind of looks like a rainbow. How does that work? Well, the light shines on the bubble and refracts. So then you see all the different colors of the rainbow. Wow, that wand is a triangle. This wand is a star. A square. This wand is a heart. And this wand is a flower. <laughs> Did you notice that all the bubbles that we made were circle-shaped bubbles? Really? Why is that? Because no matter what shape you use, a bubble is always going to be a circle-shaped bubble. Because a circle is the most efficient shape a bubble can make. Oh, that makes sense now. That is so cool. <laughs> but wait a second. Unless you use bubble magic, of course. bubble for you. Really? What do you mean by special? Well, I can make an insect bubble. Wow. I'll give you a couple of hints. Okay, I'm ready. It likes to crawl on the ground. Okay. It likes to eat vegetables. Hmm, I love vegetables. Also, it goes through a metamorphosis later in life. Metamorphosis? I know what insect that is. Yeah, that is a caterpillar. <laughs> you got it, Flippy. Okay, let's see this bubble. Uh. circle bubble. So we have three circle bubbles connected right now. One, two, three, four. Wow. And another one. Five circle, well, four circle bubbles now. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. I think caterpillars are really cool because they go through metamorphosis. Hey, it's into. Yeah. After metamorphosis, they turn into butterflies. Here we go.